Hello and welcome to another Beehive growth tutorial where we're going to share uh, a tip for monetizing using a crypto-based uh, tip jar of sorts. So at uh, Beehive, it's really important to us that we uh, help and we facilitate the growth of our uh, creators who are on our platform. And, and one of the ways that uh, creators can, can support themselves uh, beyond doing premium subscriptions or monetizing through ads is to include a virtual tip jar or uh, some cases, you know, people will call it like buy me a coffee or something like that. Um, with the, the novel use of crypto based technology, this is actually really, really easy to do through a newsletter and uh, we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to need is to determine uh, which cryptocurrency or multiple cryptocurrencies you want to accept uh, tips in. The most common would be Bitcoin or Ethereum. And we're going to use Ethereum in this case, but you could do multiple ones. It's just going to take a little bit of uh, image editing once you have the QR code. Uh, I'll drop the link to the site, but I really like this uh, Bitcoin QR code maker .com. Um, There's a bunch of them out there. Just do your research, make sure that it's, you know, uh, you're reputable. This is not uh, advice, just, you know, do it at your own risk. <laughs> but um, basically, you can choose your your desired coin. And then if you have a public wallet, you can take your public wallet address and put it right here. So I've actually gone through and done that uh, and generated a QR code that you'll see in a minute. Um, I don't know if you need this checked or don't. I actually usually uncheck it and it's worked just fine. So uh, you can play around that with that if you'd like. But if you just want to be safe, you can uncheck it. So in order to implement this, um, one of the common places where we recommend implementing this is in the footer. So using our, our new custom footer feature makes it super easy. So if you go to your settings and then email template and then email footer down to custom content, you actually can create you know a custom section. So just made a quick message, enjoying this newsletter, consider making an ETH tip. So what that's going to do is I then, you know, uploaded the QR code I created on that past website. I made it resize it to 25% of the normal size. Otherwise it's massive, not a great user experience. So we make it nice and small and then preview it. This is what it's going to look like within the newsletter. Super clean, uh, hit save. And now when we go to a newsletter that has content in it, it's going to show up here at the bottom in our footer. Now you can put this anywhere you want. I just think the footer is a good place to go. Uh, and so when users receive this via email, uh, because we don't use footers on the web version, it won't show up in the web version, but if they see it in their email address or in their email inbox, uh, they can you know, scan it using their phone or save it and then use the recognition software within um, their, their phone's photos app to access this. So super easy to allow users to contribute to your, your growth and your, your creative uh, livelihood through crypto tips. The same pro the process would be the exact same for Bitcoin um, as it is for ETH. And essentially, once a user scans it, they can. I would recommend um, you know that they do it through like a wallet app. If they scan it through a wallet app, they can you know it'll take them directly to the screen where they can do that. And so, if your users aren't super tech friendly, uh, you can add some instructions. Um, we'll we'll create a blog post where you can refer them to uh, as well. Um, but yeah, that's how you can implement a tip jar using Web3 technology. Have a great day. We look forward to seeing what you build.